Hi, this is Matthew with RetroEdge.Tech and I uh, want to talk about ThinkPads today. Um, this is the ThinkPad that I'm currently using. It's a ThinkPad T420S um, and um, it's probably eight, nine years old, possibly 10 years old. Uh, I should look up when it was first introduced, um, but it's a ThinkPad that I like. Um, and I've sold a lot of laptops like this. Uh, the first new ThinkPad I sold was a ThinkPad T410, just the standard not one, not the T410S. So I have quite a bit of experience both selling these um, and fixing them up, upgrading them, repairing them, and wanted to talk about a couple particular issues with this series of ThinkPads. So the ThinkPads that use um, or have a common docking station port on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to hold up the docking station here that I've got. Um, and right there, there's the port that is on the docking station. Um, and then on the laptop, I've got my laptop here. Um, on the bottom is that port right there. Um, and so those two click together. Um, so that's, let's see here. I was going to click it together, but there's uh, essentially, there's a little slider here that adjusts like so, so that it uh, can accept more than one. And while I was leaning over off camera, it came undone and didn't snap together the way I thought it would. So I should have just been looking at it right here and it would have showed up. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks odd with the T4 um, 20S because it's got this big kind of space here. Or if you use that with the T410, the T420, or the T430, those are the models that can uh, accept this, then it would fit flush all the way to the back. Um, and uh, so this, the ones, the models that end with S, I think it stands for like slim. It's a thinner model and they usually were a little bit on the higher end so that they would often come with higher end screen resolutions. Um, and this particular one uh, comes with USB 3. And so the dock that I've got also has USB 3. So um, you can see the blue port there on the back of the docking station. And then there's a blue USB port on the back of the ThinkPad T420S laptop as well. The yellow USB port is always on charging so that if you have the laptop off or if it's um, just the lid is closed, you could plug in a cable to that and charge a phone or a tablet or another USB device on the always off. And that's something that I actually use decently frequently. Um, I will sometimes use my laptop as essentially just a big extended battery uh, for my phone. If I'm traveling or if I'm out and about, uh, I know that I can recharge my phone with the laptop battery. Um, this also has these laptops. I think most of them in the series have the ability to use two batteries as well. Um, so it, this one, the T420S has a battery in the bottom uh, right there, but then also the DVD drive can be removed and a battery put in there. And so I do have the two batteries um, in that particular model that I'm using. I had done a post a little while ago about uh, BSPWM testing it out, live booting uh, the Manjaro spin of a kind of a pre-built, pre-packaged uh, binary space partitioning window manager. So that's a tiling window manager that I've been doing a lot of videos about. If you're curious about that, I have quite a few other videos. I encourage you to look them up um, and I go into depth about um, trying it out and also writing a script to auto deploy BSBWM on, um, I guess, Linux, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, uh, Manjaro, uh, so that I have a script that will automatically install and configure it. And it's a way that I'm testing out and working on shell, shell scripts. So I do a lot of Linux stuff. This video is on ThinkPads, but most of my channel is talking about Linux stuff and then hardware stuff like this as well. Um, so something that 
people often don't realize with these docking stations. And so you, you might want to just wonder why would you want a docking station at all? Um, if you've got a laptop, it's portable. Um, and there are a couple of reasons why you might want a docking station. If you are the kind of person that has um, a lot of things to plug into a laptop, um, say printer, scanner, extra devices, um, let's say you have a special keyboard or mouse or something like that, um, uh, that uh, having a docking station where you can have all of those things plugged in on your desk, and then uh, you can just click it out, and snap the button, click it out, and then take your laptop and are on the go. So docking station works quite well for that. Also monitors. Um, if you, you know, currently common resolution is 1080p um, on these uh, classic ThinkPads. Um, I don't think you're gonna be able to upgrade them to a 1080p screen. Um, if I'm wrong about that, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to find um, some upgrade uh, tips on how to get a, uh, a higher definition screen. Um, the one that I have has a good screen. I like it. It is 16 by 9. Uh, same aspect ratio is 1920 by 1080, um, but it is 1600 by 900, which I think is a fine resolution for that screen. I like it. Um, but if you want to connect larger screens, like I've got a, a two Lenovo ThinkVision 1080p uh, monitors in front of me, um, that I've got plugged into my Think Station, but I could also use um, this docking station um, to plug in those monitors, and it's got um, um, it's got Display Port, DVI, and VGA, um, so that I could plug um, multiple monitors in. I think it can support two with the um, two external monitors with the Intel graphics that comes with this. And I think then you have to have the lid closed. It can't do two external monitors and a laptop screen. It just isn't quite enough graphics oomph to <laughs> cover all of it. Um, so two external monitors and then you can close the laptop, shutting the internal screen off and then uh, use the docking station, keyboard and mouse and all of that um, to, um, do your work and then kind of like con configures it so that it's an external desktop. So this particular docking station, I've got, you know, the pictures pulled up. That's about what it looks like. Um, some notes, uh, the, the key I have found to be pretty useless. Um, most of the time uh, I will get these docking stations without the key. They're just left in the unlocked position. Um, it does have a security connector there, um, which you could use a Kensington lock um, type of security thing to anchor this to the desk and then you could lock the laptop um, to uh, the dock and I suppose that's supposed to be secure but I have actually seen a laptop that had been just like bottom part destroyed because somebody ripped it out of a dock so I, I don't know if that's a really good solution or not I think just probably securing the area is probably better than trying to chain this thing down to a desk um, and uh, some other things to note then, uh, so this is, you know, some pictures of it. Here's the back, you know, I can hold it up, but this is a great way to just look at it. Um, the USB 3 port, so it's got one blue port there. A lot of people will think, hey, if I have a T410 or a T420, I can just click this in and then I'll get USB 3. That's not the case. So those laptops in this series that don't have USB 3 on the laptop, will not be able to use the USB 3 put output as a USB 3 higher um, uh, bandwidth transfer rate uh, with the dock. That port will just be a regular USB 2 port on laptops that just have USB 2 and not USB 3. But on my laptop, like the T420S and the T430 and the T430S um, that do have um, the USB 3, then the this docking station port and that one port on the docking station will be USB 3. So a good use for that would be um, when you click into the dock, you could have a USB 3 hard drive plugged into that port that's set to do an automatic backup when you click into the dock. That would be a good use for that port. But if you have a T410 and you click it in there, 
it's not going to magically give you a USB 3 port. Um, so also of note is that you, it gets its power from this port here. Um, you need to have a 90 watt power adapter. A 65 watt power adapter won't work. It'll just air out and say it doesn't have enough power um, or it just like will blink and uh, won't, won't actually power and turn on the laptop. So you need a 90 watt power ThinkPad power adapter um, for that. Um, I don't use docking stations a lot right now, but I plan to. I'm actually really liking working with desktop computers. And so even though this T420S is my laptop that I'm using right now, it's my primary laptop, um, I have Linux Mint on it. I think I'll upgrade to Linux Mint Debian Edition uh, 4, which recently came out at the time of this video. Um, and um, I think I will probably upgrade to that on the laptop. Um, but I'm finding that I'm much more comfortable with a full keyboard, larger screen, um, that sort of thing. But with the docking station, you can get that with the laptop um, and then click out and then be portable as well. Now for me and for most people, I do recommend actually having two. Recommend having a desktop workstation and a laptop. And so that way you can sync your data, you have all your work tools on both computers, and you essentially have a mobile version for the laptop, and then your in-office version for the desktop. And that's a great way to go. Having both really makes a lot of sense. That way, if anything breaks, you drop your laptop or the screen gets run over or um, you, you step on it, uh, the, the, you lose your power cable and you can't charge your laptop, have to power adapters, by the way, be prepared. But you know, things can happen um, uh, or your desktop computer could overheat or something could go wrong and then you've got your laptop as a backup. So having both a desktop computer and a laptop really makes sense. But you can give your um, laptop a lot of desktop-like features with the docking station and that's why these are useful. So I plan on doing more with these and using them more. Um, and like I said, I have a lot of experience with repairing uh, these ThinkPad laptops and selling refurbished ones and doing upgrades. And uh, so when repairing or working with these laptops, um, a docking station can be a useful tool. And uh, for example, if the keyboard is damaged, let's say it gets a spill or you know badly beaten or something like that, well, the power button on these ThinkPads is on the keyboard. And so if that's damaged, it may not power on correctly, it might short circuit, it might not work correctly. Well, there's a power button on the docking station. So you can actually take the keyboard out of the ThinkPad laptop, click it into one of these docking stations, and then press the power button and get it to turn on. That's really useful when you're trying to repair or do some kind of recovery. Um, also, if the screen gets bashed in or broken or isn't working correctly on the ThinkPad, you can plug it into a docking station, hook up a monitor, and if the rest of the computer is working fine and it's just a screen problem issue, then you can use that external monitor, maybe copy data off or do other types of things. Or if you're in a spot and you can't get a replacement screen, um, you can still use your laptop processing power disk, all of that just fine with an external monitor and you kind of essentially just with the docking station turn it into a desktop computer. And if the screen's broken and you, you can't get it fixed right away, it's stuck being a desktop computer, but at least you can use it. You're not stuck being um, out of the laptop and not being able to use it. So a docking station is a useful tool, both as a workaround for the power issue. Um, also, if the power jack gets broken, um, on a laptop that you can you know click it in here and the, the docking station will charge the laptop. I had a customer um, you know their kids probably broke the uh, um, ThinkPad power jack, the DC jack in the laptop. And that's a fairly expensive repair. Um, and it ended up being about a third of the cost to just buy a docking station, click it in and use that as a way to charge the laptop instead of um, fixing the DC jack. Now, obviously fixing the DC jack would be a better all around fix, but 
for their purposes, they're like, hey, do we just want to get the thing working again? What's the cheapest way to do that? Hooking it into a docking station charges the laptop and solves the problem in a less expensive way than having to tear the entire laptop apart and have a lot more labor involved with a DC jack replacement. So a docking station can be a very useful tool just in general in workflow, having larger monitors, lots of things plugged in, having that USB 3 port that you can plug a, um, a hard drive in and then do automatic backup when your laptop is clicked into it on the desk. Lots of good tools that way. And it can also be a useful tool for workarounds when you encounter problems with a laptop, like a broken screen or broken DC jack. Um, I'm Matthew with Retro Edge Tech. Most of what I do um, is about Linux. I love Linux, but I also have a lot of experience with ThinkPad laptops, and I like them. And I'm certainly happy to share my experience with them, or with ThinkPad laptops with you. If you have any questions at, um, at all about ThinkPads or Linux, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll, I'll answer if I can. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.